Hello everyone, welcome back. So guys, in our previous session, we have covered a complete module based on data modeling that what data modeling is, how we can model our data, what is cardinality, what is filter flow. In our today's session, we will be discussing about pivot tables that what pivot tables are. Now guys, how to create a pivot table is very simple. All you need to do is go to insert and in insert, we have pivot table options. Like if you want to add any pivot table, what pivot table is, it is nothing but a summary of your data. So suppose if you have any data, let's say if I go to orders and if I want to create a summary of this data, all I need to do is select this data, uh, create a recommended pivot tables as well. You can create a recommended pivot tables, which will tell you that uh, based on months, you want to count the order ID based on days you want to count the order id that means how many orders are placed during the days or you can open some of quarter or some of hour as well so some recommendations are over here that uh, here we have row labels and this one doesn't make any sense this one does and whatever makes sense you can click on ok and that would be added to a new sheet as of now i don't want it so i can delete it as well so this is what a pivot table is pivot table is nothing but a summary of your data based on one kind of a row and multiple columns for example if i go to pivot section over here we have also previously created some pivot tables but that we have created from different tables we know how to create it from a similar table as well so suppose if we have order details here i want to create a pivot table based on only this table so i'll select this table and based on this i'll go to insert and ask for recommendations so it will give me the row labels as these and the sum of pizzas have been ordered but we don't need that as well so i'll just click on cross i'll go to pivot table again and let's try to add a pivot table from our data model because we have done the modeling of our data we will be creating a pivot table from that so let's add data from data model to the existing worksheet now here we have four options when you'll open excel okay this is how the format of data would look like okay you can change it to my format as well as it is much more easier to drive files like this till here so we have order details orders pizza types and pizza make sure you use these tables which which has orange symbol of uh, database here because these are the data that we have modeled that these are the data which we have created relationship with okay so now you can create pivot table based on anything let's say we have different types of pizzas so let's go for pizza name as rows and i want to see how many orders are being placed of these things so order details id contains the orders so i do not want to find the sum of orders as you can see in order details if we go to order details so we have order details here order id here where order details indicates the number of orders order id indicates the number of tables from which the orders have been placed you can also call it as a footfall of people so we have order id we have order details we have pizza id pizza size quantity price and amount given over here okay let's come back to pivot so because we do not want to find the sum of order details id we'll go to value field settings click on this go to value field settings click on count and it will give you the count you can see uh, that there are different names and there is a count total number of orders are 48820 and these are the order of different types of pizza but I do not want all of these. Let's say I want top five values. For that, what should I do for the top five values? For that, all you need to do is click on this symbol. Here we have label filters. Also, we have value filters. Go for value filters and go for top 10. Instead of top 10, you can choose top five best most ordered pizzas. In this case, top five most ordered pizzas. Click on OK and you'll get the top 5 most ordered pizza. Also, you can go to pivot table analyze and change the name of this table. Most ordered. Okay. Or you can also write it as top 5. Okay. In designs, there is more options that if you want to change the grand total, if you do not want to see the grand total of this pivot table, you can turn it off for both rows and columns. Here also we have the same option, you can turn it off for both rows and columns. Now it is totally up to you, like suppose we have category as well. If you want to add a subcategory to it, the category is here and even uh, the name name is obviously the subcategory. So you can add the subcategory as well. 
if you click on the minus button it will get collapsed like this it will get collapsed and if you click on the plus button you will be able to see the subcategories as well so uh, in the chicken section we have these many pizzas which are generating these many sales okay this is how you can build the pivot tables and uh, pivot tab in pivot tables you can do lot of things if you also want to see something very amazing okay so let's say again i have another kind of pivot table or let's take the same example where i have the same pivot table but i'm removing name from here i'm i'm just looking at the sales okay now if i go to sum of amount right click over here or left click over here uh, you can go for value field settings in value field settings there is another option which says show values as show values as percentage of grand total if i click on okay it would tell me that this is 100% In hundred percent, the maximum sales we are getting is from classic that is twenty six point nine one. Then we have supreme on twenty five point four six. Then we have chicken on twenty three point six nine six again, and then we have veggie on twenty three point six eight percent. So you can show the percentage values as well. Or if I press just Control Z, we'll come back to rupees. And if you know that this data is in US standards, we can go to home page. go to custom and instead of this we'll convert it to a currency it's already a currency but let's change the symbol to dollars and now we have the data in dollars select this as well and you can customize it to not customize but change the symbol to dollars if you do not want a grand total for both of them as well just go to their design and go to grand totals and turn it off for them so not on but off actually off for this one and let's select this one as well grand totals and i'll turn it off for this one as well so this is how you can create pivot tables you can create pivot tables from recommendations so in insert option we have recommend recommended pivot tables as well but here we need to define the table or range from where you want it to recommend you a pivot table also we have pivot table section itself where you can create your own pivot table I hope it is clear how we can create pivot tables how we can make different kinds of changes whether we want to find something uh, that is top 10 values top 5 values or bottom 5 bottom 10 values whether we want to show the data in the terms of percentage we can do that to using pivot tables in our next session we will be discussing about charts in excel there are different kinds of charts that we can create in excel so we'll have a look at them in our next session so stay connected guys and i'll see you in the next session thank you